Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannon's Club, your local Holden Certified Service Centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online. G'day, I'm Fletch and welcome to the show. Today I bring you to a suburb just north of Melbourne in Victoria. You're about to see a very proud gentleman. A gentleman that works to a line of perfection, just like a fine red wine. In this week's Classic Restos, On The Road. Well known around Melbourne and further afield is this guy. It's time to meet Nez de May. Like most of us, Nez has a history of cars going back to his childhood. Nez loves his Fords, but again, like most, has an appreciation these days for most things classic. Winding the clock back, here is Nez's father with his Austin. And here's Nez with his brothers beside their beautiful two-tone EK Holden wagon back in the day. And how precious is this shot? With his dad standing proud next to their beloved family car, an XW Falcon station wagon. 3.6 litre, 221 cubes, and sporting those XW wheel covers that take us all back in time. Nez is semi-retired at the moment, restoring engine bays back to factory specifications in classic Mustangs and to perfection. In fact, before we go any further, to whet your appetite before today's interview, I had the privilege of catching up with Nez at Motorex in Melbourne 2018. Here's just a sample of Nez's workmanship. Time for this guy here. How you doing Nez? Good, Fletch. How are you? Good, mate. Good. Had to pick on you. An outstanding Mustang. Seen you around the scene for years. You've got quite a few runs on the board. Another reason why I thought I'd catch up and have a quick chat with you. Uh, great to see you. We've known each other for quite a few years, Fletch, and uh, always a pleasure to see you. Uh, Naz, thanks for the kind words. This Mustang here behind us, an incredible car, incredible condition. You've pulled off an award already this weekend. Tell us about the car. Well, it's a original matching numbers 1967 GD500. It's a dark moss colour. Uh, it's one of 510 ever produced in this colour combination. And I've owned the car for 14 years this year. Getting to this stage of your life with this type of a car, you, you take your mind back to when you were 20 or 25 years of age in your wildest dreams. You would never have thought for one second that you would have ended up with a car like this. Definitely not, uh, Fletch. Uh, I've always dreamed of owning a car like this in the early years, but no, I've never, never thought I'd own something as uh, as nice as this and as rare. And uh, it's a privilege to me, and it's an honour to own a car like this. So yeah, very happy. Now, now, uh, restoration-wise, what have you done to the car over the years? Well, I purchased the car uh, 14 years ago, as I mentioned, at about 85% all restored but it needed fine detailing work. So for six months, I got the original type tyres, the Autolite battery, did all the factory markings on the car, top to bottom, and I just want to pace myself. And it came up reasonably well, and I was very happy after uh, all that detailing had finished. And I entered the car into the Victorian Mustang Club concourse in October, uh, where the car won uh, an award, the top award. Uh, in show and shine, and then it was elevated to concours after that. Engine up front, walk us through what you've done there. Yeah, look, it's a genuine 428 police interceptor engine with the twin 600 hollies as well too, and uh, it's all original, no extractors, no headers, and uh, yeah, look, it's uh, been a drag racing background as well for uh, the last 30 years. Can't help myself, Fletch, and uh, souped up the engine just a little bit yeah. internally. Yeah. So she's uh, running pretty good. Nez, it's absolutely wonderful to see you again. Likewise, Fletch. Good to see you too. Thank you. And for the invitation here to the humble abode, it's kind of like a Daryl Kerrigan with the castle. You've been here for so long and I know that family means everything to you and uh, this is a special place for you. Absolutely, Fletch. 42 years here with the family and, you know, a lot of great memories here. 
and uh, we cherish these memories for sure. Absolutely. I've got to, before we start talking about uh, a little bit about Nez and, and the cars, uh, a couple of fruit trees here in the yard. Lovely. I, I love this peach tree here. Well, yeah, well, we've got the lemon tree here, Fletch. Oh, I'll have a lemon tree. Lemon tree, and we've got a mandarin tree here behind me as well, too. All right. Uh, I was about to say, I, I thought the plum tree, that was plum tree behind us. Is that... Yeah, no, this, this is a mandarin tree. Oh, it's a mandarin. That, that's an apple tree. Right, okay, so it's not, it's not plum. No, it looks like a mandarin tree. That TV antenna up there, Nez, that's got to add some value, hasn't it? I wonder if he knows anything about lead. Like Dad, I've always been a Ford man. The Falcon Squire wagon was unloved in 1964, but turns heads today. The Americans call them woodies, but the panelling, it's just fibreglass and plastic. But it's a passion that Shannon's understands, which is why my Fords are insured with Shannon's. And now, so's the home. Call Shannon's on 13 46 46. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. When it comes to cars, there are some brands that will remain with us forever, no matter what. The Holden was always Australia's own car, held high in the hearts of many. Those lines, that chrome, the stories around them and the people that owned them. From the classic through to the final. You can still trust in genuine Holden and AC Delco parts. Available through the Holden Certified Service Network. Now as we move now to the Fair Dinkum Department, two pristine cars. We have an XW GT, we have an XY Fairmont in absolute brilliant condition, beautifully restored. The uh, Tango, we, we proudly call it Tango, yes, right? Yes. So tell us the story of the XW. Okay, about uh, three, three years ago, I purchased Tango through Muscle Car Warehouse up in Sydney. Um, and basically, uh, I uh, took up Colin Wignall from Shepparton. So, uh, when it comes to Mustangs and Shelby bosses, etc., uh, I know a little bit about them. And uh, I was on the other side of the coin, so I had to. Uh, Asked for assistance, you know, from a, a GT specialist in Colin, and he came up through my young brother uh, Binuk, uh, mutual friend, and we flew up and we looked at this uh, orange uh, XWGD, which was all matching numbers, 70 model, and um, yeah, long story short, I ended up purchasing, as you know. Of course, the attention to detail, uh, everything that Nez touches just has to be this way. We look at the uh the proud Clevo sitting there with its factory markings down to the little dab of orange paint or yellow paint there on the on top there. I mean, the, the, these are the things. And if you bought the car brand new back in the day, of course, this is what would have been sitting in your garage that night. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, uh, I was taught back in those days with my 67 Shelby as well too, which was a Concorde car. Uh, you know, all the factory markings, etc. But this isn't a Concorde vehicle, this is a driver. Now keep in mind, when Nez says that this is not a Concorde car and it's a driver, to others, they might look upon that differently. Because your standard is so high, and that's, that's, that's the thing with you, uh, every, everything you do is, it, it is to perfection. Now we look at the car, we look at the paint, we look at the interior, it's probably one of the, the best examples today that you would find out on the road. Oh, I'm not sure about best, there are better, but it's a good driver car <laughs> and I enjoy it and uh, I just love the colour, it's growing on me yes, the it's an, It's outstanding. It's bright. It's a beautiful car. But it's bright. It is bright. Yeah, it is bright. It's a bit bright, but mm, I'm getting used yeah. to it with the sunglasses. Well, see, back in the old days, everything mm. was black and white, so it wasn't, right. it wasn't so bright back then. Exactly, you know. yeah, that's right. <laughs> As a car to drive, nice? Yeah, very nice. With the factory power steering, mm. uh, as the Ford report yep. suggests, yep. Um, it was, it's the best thing I've ever done, was uh, put it back to original. Yeah. It has a factory FMX auto. Yeah. I actually brought a four-speed top loader complete conversion yep. to just, you know, convert. Yeah. But it's so nice to drive. This vehicle here is um, with the Surfer Orange automatic yep. power steering. Uh, delete hood pins as well too. Um, yeah, right. So the okay. owner never 
instructed to have the hood pins on there. Mm. Uh, it's one of one mm. ever produced. That, that's the an amazing thing about these cars back in, in the time. There were so many variations, yes. so many options, so yeah. many delete options. Correct. Like you just mentioned the hood pins. Yeah. Now that's something that, you know, a lot of us wouldn't even give one consideration yeah. for until Correct. you hear about yeah, that. Exactly. So back in the in the in the time the first owner, he thought of that. Thought, no, I don't want the hood pins. Yeah, and also the the um, stripes on the mm. on the bonnet, mm. the the no, the original, the yeah. delete uh, hood, yeah. hood stripes as yeah. well, bonnet stripes. Yeah. But I like the bonnet stripes. Yeah. I like them, you know. And yeah. it's not a Concord car, and I just love it how it do. It mm. breaks up the orange on the yeah. bonnet. So. Now, keep in mind, we've already seen. Uh, on the episode so far today, Nez's delightful 1967 Shelby, a work of art. Do you miss that car? I do miss it, uh, Fletch. Uh, look, uh, it was part of my life for 15 years and uh, it's a great history of that vehicle. Uh, believe it or not, when I purchased the vehicle, I found all the information and also the owner's uh, information in California. He was the second owner in California. Wow, yeah. And I sent a uh, good old fashioned letter because I mm. had no email, had the address mm. and the second owner replied mm. and to this day, long story short, we're the best of friends for over 18 years now mm. Mm. and he just he's turning 90 oh, wow. on the 11th of wow. September coming yeah. up. Yeah. And uh, we we correspond with email and yeah, that's yeah, beautiful. It doesn't it doesn't get much better than that, no, does it? No, it doesn't. I think yeah. around about two six I think, or uh, mm. where is it? Uh, 212. Yeah. 212. Yeah. Uh, he was 80 years old, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And I had I had the Shelby at the time, and I won a gold award for the Shelby. Mm. And uh, what I did, I wrapped up the trophy, mm -hmm. and I sent it to him for his 80th birthday. Yeah. And the yeah. story goes, he. The whole family were in tears, yeah. and uh, you know, and it just strengthened our bond together as well. And that's uh, that just reflects what sort of a person you are. That's just well, a that's a Nez thing. That that's the sort of thing that you would do. Well, I, I just like to give things. You know, I'm, mm. I'm, uh, it's a bit difficult for me to accept or take mm. things. Yeah. This car is outstanding. This car here, an absolute beast. We're looking at an XY Fairmont uh, 1970, a 71 Nez. Now this story here, well look, you know, we can tell that it's got a, a stock interior which looks superb. It's a factory air conditioned car as well. Yeah. What lurks under the hood though, is just a little bit more than your standard Clevo. Oh, just a little bit, yeah. Uh, it takes me back to my youth as well and uh, we'll touch on it later on about the drag racing side of things is mm. uh, I'm reliving my youth, Fletch. Isn't and, it uh, wonderful? It is wonderful. I mean, you like to go fast. You know what power is all about. You'll yeah. find out a little bit more about that later. Um, but it's a different appreciation at this stage of life. You've, yeah. got, you've got probably four times the power that you need under the hood, but hey, who cares? Who cares? It's, it, it's there. Cares? It's nice to know it's there. Absolutely. So give us, okay, let's start with this car here. Give us a rundown on what you've done. Okay, what I have done together with my brothers. Uh, so basically, it's ultra white, it's saddled interior. Thank goodness I didn't have to do any modifications to those areas. It was just the drive line. So when I purchased the vehicle, thanks to my young brother Binuk, he located the vehicle. And uh, I didn't even know that I was looking for a car. <laughs> he just said that you should jump on this vehicle. It's unbelievable. So I was based here in Melbourne from a former drag racer as well too. And uh, so I just basically, together with my brothers, uh, we replaced the drive line mm -hmm. and uh, upgraded the diff. Yep. Uh, so it's registered. So we're still still talking nine inch, obviously. Yeah, it's a yep. nine inch, but it's got thirty five spline axles in yep. it. Uh, I had a full spool, so I took that out more for drag racing. So mm -hmm. put a brand new true track and uh, new center force clutch, mm -hmm. um, pressure plate, etc. Uh, and then when I purchased the vehicle. Um, the reason I purchased it, lovely vehicle, but not only that, it was registered and, you know, with big roads all engineered back years and years ago uh, with the, with, believe it or not, a big block Ford. So the, when the guy uh, went out of drag racing, got out of drag racing, he put his drag engine in this XY which was a bit too much for the rate, uh, for the street. So I replaced the big block mm. and 
I spoke to my brothers and they said, well, you've got the engineer certificate, mm. why not put another big block in yeah, it? Yeah. So I put a smaller big block yeah. and so we went for a 460 uh, based. Yeah, that's a, that's a smaller big block. Yeah, it's Nez. a bit smaller yeah. and uh, a drag racing history. So here she is, this is Snowy. I saw the post on Facebook uh, a few weeks ago now and you're going up the road so effortlessly in this car and uh, it's a, it's a beautiful example, it really is, Naz. Thanks, Fletch. Thank you very much. I really love this vehicle because it's different. It's not like everybody else in Fairmont. Yeah. Although it's a factory X, uh, Y code, which is 302 Windsor, obviously, uh, you know, the previous person got it all engineered with big roads with the big block. Um, so it was a matter of just changing the drive line mm. and updating everything. We've always had a few cars. They're all special. The T-Bird. Oh, that's mine. The Combi for when we want to get away. The XR8. It's going to be a classic. They're all insured with Shannon's. We've also got Shannon's home and contents cover. Which helps protect our automotive collectibles, tools and memorabilia in the home and garage. If you're motoring enthusiasts like us, it's got to be. Shannon's. Shannon's. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. They may not be making the classic Holden anymore, but the legacy lives on. You can still have a Holden certified service using genuine Holden and AC Delco quality parts at over 180 centres across Australia. Go to holden.com.au to find your nearest centre. Book your Holden in, maintain the pride. If you own a classic or two, make sure they're insured with Shannon's. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote and a chat on 134646 and the Shannon's Club awaits you with a whole stack of really cool automotive entertainment such as their in-house productions, Shannon's Club TV, Legends of Motorsport, Driven, End of an Era. You can catch episodes of Classic Restos there as well as Australia's largest automotive online hub. For more information, visit shannons.com.au. Well, anyone that knows Nez knows that he likes life in the fast lane. Well, here's a little bit about the drag racing and his family's history. Well, my mum and dad I came to this country in the late 50s and uh, they made a life of themselves uh, in northeast Victoria in Wangaratta, a beautiful country town, two hours up the road on the Hume Highway. Made a life together and uh, had a family, uh, five sons, and uh, we, we were there um, till 1976. And we had some great memories up there in Wangaratta. It was a beautiful area, it still is. It, they call it the God's Country. And we thoroughly enjoy it every time we go back there again as well too. And then after that, for employment reasons, we came up here to Melbourne and all the brothers started working here, there, everywhere. And uh, we were up in Preston for a couple of years and uh, until the developers took over. And we found this place here over 42 years ago. And this was the family home where all the family, all the brothers were, and uh, you know, uh, were a lot of great memories here. Mum was a great supporter of us, all the sons, and uh, all five of us. And uh, uh, she knew our passion. Uh, she, she loved supporting us and being behind us and uh, it was a great relief that she, she would never say sell your vehicles back in those days and she always was very proud of, uh, of all of us, which we, which we, what we achieved in our drag racing history and uh, we loved it and uh, mum was always there for us and uh, getting into the drag racing as well too. Uh, you know, uh, it all eventuated. It's all started around about 1982, roughly. And uh, yes, I was the culprit that all started it. And uh, then the brothers followed together and supported one another. And uh, we had a great time at the drag strip. And uh, the older brother Idris, he still got his RX-4 uh, Mazda. That's the last one of all the vehicles. 
Mm. Uh, we had some great memories and great times back in those days. Uh, we loved it. Well, I've got a couple of cars behind my shoulder here. And uh, first of all, I've got uh, Tango and also uh, Snowy 1970 XW Original GT Surfer Orange. And, uh, you know, I took the car out for a bit of a drive and uh, it's beautiful to drive, to be honest with you. It's a factory power steering vehicle as well too. And uh, uh, it, it's just so, such a beautiful car to drive. It's no hassles at all. Uh, Idris rebuilt the engine. We kind of souped it up a little bit, but not too much so we could drive it far distances. It's a pleasure to drive it. And uh, yeah, the Surfer Orange, black interior, FMX Auto. Beautiful car, love it. Well, yeah, I mean, today, uh, look, both cars I enjoy. And, uh, you know, it was mentioned today by Fletch that both vehicles looked a little bit concoursey, but I reminded Fletch that um, I did have a 67 Shelby GD500 and that was a concourse car. And you're a bit limited to drive the vehicle. So I had my fun with that car over a period of 15 years. But now I've got a, hey, they call it a good driver vehicle, that I can drive it anywhere I want to, within reason. But uh, especially Tango, you know, does the country uh, uh, beautiful rides there, beautiful drives, and uh, I love it. Uh, it's a beautiful vehicle to drive. The experience is enormous. Uh, she just cruises on the road, fantastic, I love it. I've enjoyed uh, the opportunities of becoming, uh, back in those days, uh, the Australian and Victorian Shelby representative. It was a great honour to represent all the Shelby owners in Australia and be part of the Victorian Mustang Club as well too, uh, for 19 years. But in saying that, you know, um, sometimes in a person's life you um, close a couple of doors and you move on with other doors as well too. The drag racing side in the early years, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And there's a reason why is drag racing with my brothers, our family affair, it was fantastic. Great memories here for sure. Um, you know, and we've been doing uh, together with family and good friends, Northern Classic Cruises, charity car show, non-profit. Uh, and we support Victoria Police Legacy in that cause as well too. So they're very supportive towards us as well for the last 10 years. Family means a lot to me and my brothers and my, my whole family and my good group of friends too who have been supportive over all these years as well too. But uh, you know, I've got to hand it to Fletch, he's done a remarkable job and the longest serving you know, car show host as well too and he's still going today so well done to Fletch. Uh, it's a credit to him as well too and uh, he works very hard in the background as well. Nez, I just want to thank you for the extraordinary opportunity to be uh, to be invited here to the private home. And uh, look, we, we, we go back uh, quite a, yes. a, a few years now. Yes, uh, of course, the uh, the interview earlier in today's show with that delightful 67 yes. Shelby at Motorex in Melbourne and uh, the opportunity now uh, to showcase today the delightful Fairmont and, of course, Tango over there, the, the GT. So thank well you. done on those, Nez. Well, thanks, Fletch, and thanks for the opportunity opportunity today for being on Classic Restos. It's been fantastic out here and uh, you do a great job and uh, keep it up. Well, well done. Thank you. I, keep I, it up. I really well appreciate done. those words. There's a lot of guys like Nez out there in the fraternity and, and you do a lot too. You, you put a lot out there and sometimes nice things come back and I'd yeah. like to think that this episode would be uh, just a little, a little keepsake for you. Yeah, definitely. And no, it's been great. Thanks for having us out here and, um, you know, it's been a long time coming but uh, it was well worth the wait but I thank you. Yep. And uh, keeping up the good work with Classic Restos. Thank well you, done, Fletch. That's very nice well of you. Well done. So on that note, I hope you've really enjoyed this week's episode of Classic Restos, featuring the two private cars of Nez de May, his delightful Fairmont, and of course the XW GT. Hope you liked it. Until next week, no matter where you're watching Classic Restos from, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch. And I thank you very much for watching. There you go. <laughs> good on you, Nez. Well done. <laughs>
you can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannons, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannons Club, your local Holden certified service centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online.